petrol region that petrol is made at. On the medial lip, there is a muscle which is called TD's major. We, should, we shall learn about that later. But in the floor of the groove, there is this marking that is labeled as latissimus carsi. So that is the insertion. So fortunately for us, whereas the list of origin is quite extensive, the insertion you can describe in just one line. The insertion of the muscle latissimus carsi is in the floor of the intertubercular groove of humerus. In the floor of the intertubercular groove of the humerus. So now we have considered the attachment origin insertion. Now comes the nerve supply. For the nerve supply of this muscle, I shall take you I will only restrict myself to some major main points. That is the brachial flexion is formed by the ventral lamai of the lower four cervical, that is cervical 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the first thoracic nerve. They form the brachial flexion. And ultimately from the brachial flexion, three nerve cards are formed. One is called posterior card, one is called lateral card, and the other one is called medial card. Here in this diagram, this is the lateral card, this is the medial card, and this is the posterior card. These names are in fact given in accordance with their relationship with the axillary artery. For example, here, you see in this diagram the axillary artery. The nerve card that is found lateral to it is the lateral card. The nerve card which is found medial to it is called medial card. The nerve card which is behind it and therefore not seen. But the seen here lower down where the artery has been cut. Here actually radial nerve is written which is a branch from the posterior card. So there are these three cards. And from the posterior card you get a nerve which used to be very conveniently used to be called as nerve to let us that side. The name was easy to remember. So the nerve supply of the muscle in our days, we used to call it nerve to let us know that side, derived from the posterior card of the brachial plexus. Now the name, specific name has been given. It is called thoracodarsal nerve. So that is about the nerve supply. So origin, insertion, nerve supply, and now we come to the action here on the back and it gets attached on the arm. Now if it contracts, you can very easily understand that it will bring the arm nearer the box line. So this action of bringing the arm, then it is coming from behind and is rather attached on the anti aspect of the humerus. You might recall the attachment of, when I said about the attachment, I told you the diagram is of the anterior aspect of the humerus. So it is attached on the front and not on the back. So if it is coming from behind and attached here, then when it contracts, what it can do? It can bring about a sort of a rotation. And this type of rotation towards the midline will be called medial rotation and the opposite will be called lateral rotation. So what are the actions? Actions are reduction and medial rotation. That is like this. I am placing my, the, my hand on the back and on the back side. So this is the medial rotation. So it is mainly an adductor and medial rotator of the arm.